go, 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 or E46. This will apply pretty much to all the 1999 through 2005 3 Series. Also uh, works on the um, automatic transmissions on the newer uh, E90 Series. So the uh, 2004 BMW 330i is actually equipped with a General Motors transmission made in Strasbourg, France. It is the 5L40 or in BMW terms, I think it's the um, AS5390R, and this is the filter, the automatic transmission filter, uh, which we're going to be replacing after we drop the pan. This is the pan gasket itself, and I'm going to be showing you how to drain the uh, transmission as well as uh, install the uh, filter. Uh, the tools that you're going to need, um, 3 8 inch drive ratchet, you're going to have to have some sort of a narrow 3 8 inch drive because the uh, fill plug for the transmission is, is very difficult to get to. It's, it's up against the transmission tunnel. Uh, the drain is going to use a T40 Torx. T40 Torx and the fill is a, a T45. And again, you're going to have to get it into a relatively narrow location in order to uh, get this undone, but I'll show you how to do that. Many people don't realize that the original GM transmission was filled with Texaco ETL 8072B, I think, something like that. Anyway, that's not available anymore. Uh, it's very difficult to find, so I uh, called up the BMW dealership and they said that uh, Dexron 6 would work out just fine, and I found um, mobile Dexron 6 ATF for uh, GM vehicles. Um, this is a full uh, synthetic, I believe, and uh, or it's a synthetic blend, actually. Um, but this can be found online, and you can utilize this in order to fill up your transmission. Um, in order to get that pumped into the transmission, because the transmission is going to be higher than the bottle itself, um, we've got a just a simple pump that you can find online. I found this one on eBay. Um, stick that into the bottle and then pump that into the transmission. Okay, this is the underside of the transmission. You've got the pan here and this one is the um, GM 5L40 transmission. It has the uh, blue sticker on the bottom. And the drain plug is right here. Again, it is a T40. Just undo this, and transmission fluid will flow from it. There. As it comes out, the Texaco transmission is kind of a brownish color, while the mobile ATF is actually more of a uh, traditional um, magenta, magenta color. If you take a look at the drain plug itself, I don't know if you can see it, but there's there's actually no washer. There is a kind of a rubber O-ring that sits inside the um, sits inside a slot for this drain plug. So these drain plugs don't require a whole lot of torque in order to uh, secure. This is both for the drain as well as the fill plug, which I'm going to get. So after you've drained the transmission, put the uh, drain plug, plug back up, and then uh, these are all 10 millimeter bolts. They um, are not held on very tightly, um, so they're pretty easy to remove. Just want to move all these all the way around and the pan will come down after that. Uh, just be careful. There's going to be a lot of excess fluid coming down off the side. So if you want to put newspaper down and around on the floor, um, that'll help catch some of the excess. But yeah, these are these are just the, the bolts themselves. 
you're going to want to put Loctite on them before you uh, reinstall. And again, it's going to be very, very light torque because there's actually a rubber gasket that's um, in, just inside the uh, metal gasket for the um, for the pan, and so um, it's not going to require a heck of a lot of torque in order to to seal it. Um, it's important that you're wearing safety glasses uh, and you have the uh, car up off on all fours um, and level because when you refill it um, something that people don't a lot, a lot of people don't understand is that you have to actually have the engine on you have to get the car up to about 55 uh, the transmission fluid up to about 55 degrees uh, Celsius uh, and you actually fill it in while the car is running um, you got it in park and everything but still you've got to fill it up uh, in order to get the proper levels, uh, the engine has to be on and running uh, when you fill this up. So it, you know, you got to make sure you've got all your safety equipment um, and backup jacks uh, around the car, uh, just in case you know there's th there's movement in the car or something like that. Okay, when you're ready to drop the transmission or transmission pan, sorry, you just take out the final bolts. And this, you got to have a pan down here in order to capture all the excess fluid. And this is this is the filter itself. So the filter is held up here. It's a press fit tube, essentially. And you just remove it like this, allow it to drain, and then we'll prepare the area for the, uh, for the new one. It's very simple. We're just gonna remove the gasket that's in here and there was a, a plastic ring that actually fell down. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. You're gonna need you're gonna need this to go back onto the uh, new one, and then press that back up. It's basically a sleeve that um, keeps the the seal fresh or the seal uh, uh, tight. Okay, now that the pan is down, you've got the old filter which looks like this and the new one which is identical it looks like this but notice on the pickup here there's no rubber gasket on the old one so you have to make sure that you pull that rubber um, o-ring or seal um, from the transmission before you install the new one and the new one's pretty simple to put in it's just you get it lined up with the hole itself and then just you know basically push it from the back and and it'll seat down on this on this rubber kind of bushing and it'll it'll be held in place with that next is the pan itself it has a magnet right here this magnet needs to be cleaned up and then it's best just to kind of clean up everything in the pan itself and then remove the old gasket which is um, attached and then install the new one in the exact same location and then put it right back up on um, into the car. So here is the pan cleaned up with the new gasket laid over the top. I did clean up the surface uh, quite a bit actually with a uh, razor blade because the old gasket this is how it came up come apart um, it's metal and rubber and as you 
you can see the rubber kind of sticks to the to the pan and so you have to kind of clean that up so after you install the new filter this pan gasket will go right back up onto the transmission remember to lock tight the 20 bolts and um, you should be good to go but anyway I'll be showing you that in a second so here's the new transmission filter installed the old o-rings actually come out pretty easily they you all all you need is a, a pair of needle nose and you actually just expand them in the hole and then just pull them out once you get both of them out um, the new ones are already attached onto the filter so you just press fit this filter back up into the tube okay once you have the pan up all 20 bolts bolted down and the drain plug tightened and basically the home stretch you have to remove this drain plug right here and first we're going to fill it with automatic transmission fluid until the fluid basically comes out of here with the engine off and then we're going to fire up the car and then put fluid in get it up to temperature 55 degrees celsius or you know approximately basically you want it just running uh, warmed up put it in a, uh, reverse put it in a drive um, you know while the car's up in the air here and um, just warm it up for about a minute or two and then start putting in uh, automatic transmission fluid with the engine on so first things first you have to use something relatively narrow in order to get in here and this is probably the most difficult part of the job because you're trying to wedge a T45 Torx into a very relatively small area here. What you want to do is kind of break it, um, crack the seal, kind of get it loose. And you have to tighten it back up. Insert the just the T45 in there. I use vice grips, but you can use something else in order to help it along. Drain plug should come out. Again, this is similar to the, I'm sorry, this is the fill plug, but this is very similar to the drain plug where you just have a rubber kind of o ring inset uh, in here and it doesn't take a lot of torque basically to seal it. Again, we're gonna fill, we're gonna pump ATF in here until it drips out, and then we're gonna fire up the car. Okay, for those of you who didn't believe me, I have to put transmission fluid in while the engine is on. You put it in drive as well as reverse for about a minute. I let the transmission warm up. 55 degrees Celsius, which is about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 130. And we're just going to fill it until it drips out. 